Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday, the 29th of March in my region, Microsoft rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview Build to the beta channel, build 2635.3420 with the update KB5035953. Now, this latest Insider Preview Build for the beta channel is quite a major release, and it's the first time in quite a couple of weeks now that Microsoft has injected a couple of new features into the beta channel, which is a good indication now we are starting to get closer to our annual feature update, version 24H2 of Windows 11 late this year. And the first two new features that rolled out, I've already posted on today. And both those videos will be in the end screen because I focused a little bit more in depth on those, where first of all, we get new position for the widgets entry point on left aligned taskbars. That video will be in the end screen. And then secondly, drag and drop file support is now available in the File Explorer address bar once again. And that video will be in the end screen. Now, just to focus um, on a couple of other key highlights with this latest build. And over and above those new features, we also now get a new QR code generator for URLs that's um, been made available for you to now generate QR codes for URLs and cloud file links, according to Microsoft, through the Windows Share window to share web pages and files across your devices. And Microsoft says to try this out in Microsoft Edge, you just click the share button in the Edge toolbar and choose Windows share options. And something else to take note of, Microsoft also mentions to prevent accidentally closing the Windows share window, clicking outside the Windows share window will no longer close it. To close the Windows share window, you just press the close button at the top right corner. So um, QR code, for URLs and cl cloud file links now is enabled through Windows Share Window in this latest beta channel build. Now, something else to take note of is that um, Microsoft says that if you have personalization and other Windows settings toggled on under Settings, Accounts, Windows Backup, and that's in this section, they say many of your sound settings including chosen sound scheme will be backed up which can be restored via the windows backup app so that may be a nice move in the right direction and something else regarding the windows backup app is that they're also beginning to roll out the ability to sign in with your microsoft account msa directly within the back windows backup app to save backups to your account and those are two new features rolling out uh, to the beta in, in beta channel insiders from last week with that latest build. And I think that uh, being able to save backups to your account, I think, is a nice move um, in the right direction. Now, we do get a couple of fixes that are gradually being rolled out to the beta channel if you have the get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle turned on, where they fixed an issue that was causing the File Explorer to crash on launch for a small number of insiders in the previous flight. And um, they also fixed an issue. If you are running multiple desktops, they fixed an issue where the option to set a different wallpaper on each desktop wasn't working. And they also fixed an issue which could potentially result in no app results showing in search anymore. And they also fixed a task manager issue where they fixed an issue where Task Manager was holding onto process handles sometimes, leading to processes not stopping when you closed apps if you'd had Task Manager open. So a couple of key fixes rolling out there uh, if you have the toggle turned on to get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Now, there are a couple of changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel. And you can now ask Copilot in Windows in the beta channel for help 10 times when you sign into Windows using a local account. After that, you must sign in using a Microsoft account, MSA, or a Microsoft Entra ID account um, to sign in. So I think that um, you can ask for help 10 times without a Microsoft account using a local account, I think is a step in the right direction. And then something else to take note of, and this to some extent is rolling out to the stable channel, although it's on a very gradual controlled rollout. And once again, it's the weather cards on the lock screen and the different cards now that are appearing where this update adds weather and more to your lock screen. 
So it includes now with dynamic, it includes dy dynamic updates that bring finance, your traffic and your sports um, to the lock screen alongside the weather. And something with this though, as I've mentioned previously, is if you enable weather, you get all four cards. So it's all or nothing. You can't activate them individually, which I don't think is a nice move. But nonetheless, that's how Microsoft has decided to um, roll this feature out. And the improvement with this week, sorry, last week's beta channel was the card design has been improved with acrylic blur, card size, spacing, and font optimization. So there's a couple of more improvements that Microsoft is working on those lock screen, lock screen cards now in the beta channel. And this is something that Microsoft is pushing out across the board. Now, over and above that, guys, we get fixes for everyone in the beta channel. And it's a long list, and it's very similar to the Windows 11 up to update KB5035942, which rolled out to the stable uh, channel last week. And I'll leave that video in the end screen because the fixes are very similar to what we got uh, in that update, if you would be interested. And because we found ourselves... Uh, in the beta channel, there are a couple of known issues because it is still a preview build and we do get a couple of new known issues. So that's more or less um, what's new in last week's beta channel build 22635.3420 with update KB5035953 and as mentioned, quite a major release as we get closer to Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.